All right, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Combined. So, today is going to be Love Day, which is pretty exciting, because that means that Babs is actually going to have a gig today at 4.30 p.m. And Luigi Jr., why are you up? Aren't you sleepy? You're super sleepy. That's weird. I don't know why he just randomly got up there. I didn't tell him to do that. He just has a mind of his own. And here is little Frank. So let's see, how many more days until Frank grows up? So he has one more day. That's fantastic. Actually, I think I might actually have Paula go ahead and make a birthday cake after she's a bit more well rested. And oh, right now she's in too bad of a mood to do this right now. Why, what? I mean, wait, why are you up? No, I didn't. Did I tell you to get up? Why are you up? Go back to sleep. What is wrong with you? Oh, um, that's weird. Just randomly getting up at four in the morning. I was just telling her to sleep until she was fully rested. Unless I accidentally canceled out of it. No, stop it. What? Why are you getting up? Why are you getting up? Oh God, does is that bugged? Let's see, go to sleep. And just kind of stay there, please. Because... <laughs> That would be pretty ideal so that you can get in a better mood and finally make a simple birthday cake for your child. <laughs> okay, now today is love day and it says go hug your friend and kiss your partner. What are you doing, Bonehilda? Bonehilda, please, get out. You're just constantly thinking about Frank and you're thinking about love day at the same time and bugs? What? Oh... Uh... Get away from the baby, please, Bonehilda, you weirdo. <laughs> so it says, love day is here. Go hug your friend and kiss your partner because love is rude. I was reading that because love is in the air. Take your special someone to the spring festival or better yet, find your soulmate there. And even Frank is apparently feeling the love because he has the mood lit for spring fling. So spring is the season of renewal and it's only natural for a sim's attention to turn to romance. It's in the air. Don't try to fight it. <laughs> oh my goodness okay well i guess just don't tell them to sleep until fully rested because then that actually makes them wake up which is kind of weird i don't know why that was happening but it was now maybe that's why luigi jr woke up and i have no idea why he did that at all but let's have him go back to sleep because ideally i would want everyone to go to the performance park and watch Bab's performance, seeing as how she did learn a new trick in the mystery box that she can put on stage. And I'll definitely have one of our sims participate in that new trick. Whatever it does, I have no idea. And oh, <laughs> well, it looks like Daisy's up as well. And actually, I think eh, eh, you're kind of well rested, sort of. Go ahead and wake up and go make that birthday cake. Hopefully you'll be in a good enough mood to go and do that. Now, Marilyn is faithful to Paula and has earned a faithful reputation, which is pretty silly because her lifetime wish is actually to cheat on her. <laughs> and it's to become a heartbreaker, so be the girlfriend of 10 different sims, but since it took such a long time for us to get married to Marilyn with Paula, I'm probably not even going to attempt that lifetime wish at all. So, oh no, apparently the engine over at the fire station on the fire truck is actually out of maintenance. But you know what, it's okay because today is actually Luigi Jr's day off. So we wanna make sure that he, you know, just takes it easy today. And uh oh, these Sims are just really hungry. No, it's okay, go sit over here. We're gonna have a whole bunch of birthday cakes soon. And if we don't eat it now, it's just gonna be here forever and then we're gonna eventually throw it away. I guess that's my only complaint about birthday cake is because honestly, the birthday cake just lasts way too long in this game. And awesome, Paula has just improved her cooking skill to level seven and can now prepare key lamb pie. Delicious. So a sale has also started at the bookstore. I don't think I'm gonna be really going there anytime soon. Okay, this birthday cake's gotta be done soon. There it is, all right. No, you're not gonna eat any leftovers. Neither are you. Just wait, you guys. Paula's almost done, okay? Just be a little patient. There, we did it. All right, we're gonna blow out the candles with Frank, and then everyone will eat cake, and it'll be, no, stop it. Put it back, put it back, Daisy. Why would you wanna eat that? Why would you wanna eat that? No, I mean, I know you're hungry, but you don't have to be so desperate, and we have some delicious cake coming this way. No, just throw that in the trash. That is, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're not making a banana cream pie. 
We're going to have a birthday right now. Wait, why are you being put it back in the crib again? Oh my god. Babs, please. Alright, you know what? Fine. Go ahead and waste a whole bunch of food. We're gonna just throw this entire cake in the garbage just because you're all impatient and won't let me get Frank out of the damn crib. Oh my god, whatever. Let's just fast forward to this. I wonder what hairstyle uh, Frank will have, or what color, really. Let's see. Come on, go ahead and age up. There he is. So, he has... Is he bald? Oh, he's bald. But he has yellow eyes. He looks pretty derpy right now. <laughs> and the plants and babies actually get um, leaves for diapers, which is pretty cute. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take him and create a sim, actually. Without taking him to the mirror, just because that would take effort. <laughs> and let's find out what color hair he has. Oh. Green. Where'd you get green hair from? Paula has red hair. I don't even understand. Um, <laughs> he kind of looks like the green giant or something. Or maybe the Hulk. But I think I'm going to actually just go ahead and... Give them some red hair like Paula, just so that they have more of a resemblance. And Paula's skin tone um, is actually a bit lighter than this, but this is kind of cool. I guess like he really does remind me of the Hulk more than anything. So actually, should I just leave his hair green? Should I do that? I mean, I guess it doesn't look all that bad. It's kind of okay, I guess. And. You, fine. you know what, we'll just stick with this. We're gonna just make it a darker green and then he'll basically look like the Hulk and then Paula sort of kind of looks like Poison Ivy or she used to more when it was um, in the first season of Combined. So I'm cool with this. We'll go ahead and just accept these changes now and maybe we'll have him get super buff when he's older <laughs> and wear purple shorts. It will be wonderful. So there he is, fantastic. Now he has, let's see, seven days until he becomes a child. And wow, some of our sims are kind of getting close to becoming elder. So I've been getting a lot of comments and requests of, or not comments, but like questions and requests of when Babs and Buster are going to get married and have children and same for Luigi Jr. and Daisy. But obviously you kind of see that I'm in a dilemma right now because I'm at the maximum amount of sims that I can have. I'm aware that there are mods to add even more sims into your household, but I don't want to do that. It just seems like a little bit too much for me to handle. So I'm thinking that I may possibly split this household and just alter between both of them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably kick this family out. I don't even know who they are. I don't think we've introduced ourselves to them at all. And I will move half of the household over here. That way we can get Buster and Babs married to have children. Louis Duke Jr. and Daisy to get married and have children as well. And on top of that, for those of you that ever watched my ambitions or generations let's play that is actually where some of these sims come from or sort of originate from sort of um basically their parents are still alive kind of though i guess at this point they would be elders it's a long story but basically i think also maybe over here or somewhere in the town i'm going to move in their parents um so yumi bunny luigi Sr., I guess would be his name, Rashawn, and Amelia, which we saw them all last in Lunar Lakes. So I think I'll just pretend that they moved back into the past in Royan Heights so that they could spend some time with their, you know, relatives. So I think that would be pretty cool. And yeah, I'll probably just make them elders just because <laughs> some time has passed in Royan Heights and I will try to download that mod where I can um, alter it so that they are related and they're not just random sims in the town because I don't really know um, god I, I completely forget I think that Buster Bunny and Luigi are technically uncle and nephew they're not brothers they're like uncle and nephew but 
I couldn't do that through the family tree by the game by default, so that's why they're just strangers to each other. But I wonder with that mod if I could make them uncle and nephew. If not, then I'll just see if I can make them brothers at the very least, just so that <laughs> it's not weird. And what's this? Anxious to advance from lack of progress. Do you have a job? You don't even have a job. So like, why are you sweating it, dude? Is it because you're having a midlife crisis? Maybe that's it, I don't know. Buster's been feeling kind of depressed lately, it seems. <laughs> oh well, I just don't know what to do to fix that. Sorry, I guess. How many more days? Two more days of having a midlife crisis, and then you'll be okay. But yay, there's little Frank, and what is this? Cuddle time, what? Teddy bears make excellent sleeping companions from stuffed animal. That's right, because we totally gave Babs a little stuffed teddy bear over here. Wait, we have two fancy eggs? Oh, we do. Oh, cool. Okay, I didn't even realize that we had another one. I thought we just had this fancy one over here, so that's pretty cool. Now, it is going to be 1 p.m. Is everyone in a decent mood? For the most part. Some of them are kind of tired, but I'm going to have everyone go over to the park. I'm going to try to have everyone go there. However, if one person ends up not going, whatever, I'm not even going to sweat it. But we may as well start going now. I'm even going to try to take Fuzzball the cat over there so that Fuzzball can see Babs perform. And it will be awesome because we have that new trick to perform in our mystery box. And I want to see what it's all about. I think it was the vanishing sim or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And how many sims are going to fit in our fixer upper car? Oh no, it's returned! <laughs> <laughs> just when I thought that we would never see this vehicle again, it just magically showed up. Okay, so only two can fit in this car, I'm assuming. And Babs and Buster will be taking this car, I think? Oh no, look! Wait, it says that Babs is in this car, but actually Fuzzball's in here? And, uh, that's weird. Are they all gonna, like, magically fit in here? Are they going... Are they, like, in the trunk of the car? What? Technically, they're all in this car, you guys. What even happened? What? <laughs> I like how out of all the Sims, though, Fuzzball is the one that actually, you know, calls out for shotgun. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's probably just snuck inside the engine and also the trunk. It's just like one of those clown cars where a whole bunch of people fit in here unexpectedly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty silly. I've actually never um, had to take so many sims to one place, so... <laughs> that is pretty amazing. We're almost there, I think. <laughs> I just can't get over the fact that they're all squeezed into this car somehow. I thought maybe some of them would take taxis, but nope, there they are. Just magically appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and use uh, the venue setup, I guess. And we will have... Oh, what's happening? Is everyone okay? I think so. Alright. Now, hopefully some people show up. If not, at the very least, we do have our sims here, which is nice. And oh no, I know you're super tired. Is there anywhere you could take a nap, maybe? Can you nap on this bench? You can sit on there. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just have him go home because he's super tired. Well, let's see. Let's have him go be romantic and give some... Well, I know that it says friendly yellow, but I imagine that Daisy would enjoy yellow flowers, so we're gonna give those to her if we can. And let's see, Babs is over there to perform. Oh my god, awesome. Now we're gonna perform the Vanishing Sim. And, oh, I wanted to bring up Mario, but it doesn't seem like we're gonna be able to do that. So instead, let's bring up Paula, and let's see if we can actually make Paula disappear. And come on, Luigi, go ahead and just at least give some flowers to Daisy, and then you can go home after this because you're like super tired. But it's fine, this will just be your small little romantic gesture. So there you go, so sweet. <laughs> Simple, but that's okay. Just go home, it'll be fine. Um, Frank. You're not really watching the show. Can you not watch the show? I guess not, but whatever. So, Paula just went inside the cool little magic box. And we're doing some crazy stuff right now. And bam! She is gone. So hopefully she'll return safely. 
and she did, which is always a good thing. Now let's see what this mystify the audience thing is. I can't remember if I've done this or not, but I imagine it's a pretty neat little interaction that we can do. And we'll also talk to the audience. And I guess we're just trying to get them pumped up, so that's fine. And whatever, I'm just going to perform a bunch of magic tricks. I'm too lazy to actually look at their thought bubbles. And we'll fast forward this. The trick that we did in the little mystery box wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's okay. Fuzzball was on the stage for some reason. I don't know why, but that was pretty cute. <laughs> well, at least we have the support of our other Sims here at the very least. And I think that this goes on until 7.30. So I'll just let Babs do tricks on her own for a little while, and then hopefully we'll get a good performance. We'll just have to wait and see. And what is Buster doing on stage? Buster, get out. Mario, get out too. What are you guys doing? You're ruining the show, possibly. <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, there we go. We finished the show. Not exactly sure how we're going to do, but that's okay. The noise sounded okay, so I think that we did just fine. Let's have everyone go home. And the reviews of the show are in one of the mo I'm sorry, one of the finest magic shows I could have ever seen. Babs the Imaginary could be the next great world famous illusionist. Oh yeah, fantastic. And oh no, got it. She's just uh, level six right now. So she wants to reach at least level eight. So we'll try to keep doing that, obviously. Now, is everyone going to come back home? Did someone get Frank? Okay, good. Frank is in the taxi cab. I wasn't sure if he was going to be left behind or not, and that would have been pretty awful, actually. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and go back home. Oh, yeah. And then it's back to the busy work schedule tomorrow with all of our sims. I need to have Daisy continue finishing that book. Okay, well, since all of our sims are back home, um, most of them are probably going to need to go back to sleep and stuff. So we'll have them do that, but that is all for now. And like I said, when we come back, we'll have Daisy hopefully finish that book and we'll have Luigi Jr. continue saving some lives and all that good stuff. And like I said, the household may possibly be split up and I might start working on Babs and Buster getting married as well as Luigi Jr. and Daisy. And I'm not exactly sure if in the next part I'll have the, the relatives over here or somewhere. But uh, that will be coming soon, I promise. So that is all for now, and I will see you all next time.